place where I love to be. Look in a book, here's a story for you. Who makes stories when the day is through? Who makes stories when the day is through? Story makers, story makers, working through the night till the rising sun. Story makers, story makers, stories are fabulous, stories are fun. Blake Wordsworth. Working through the night till the rising sun. Story makers, story makers, stories are fabulous, stories are fun. Come and be a story maker. I think it is time to go home, everybody. Are you ready? Yes. Everybody packed up? Yes. Good boy. Well done, Adam. Story makers. It's midnight in the library. Hello. Time for all story makers to come out. Are you ready? Sun is down, the stars are bright. Story makers come out at night. Hello, story makers. I'm Blake, Blake Wordsworth, with a magical hat and a nose for a story. Ooh. Oh, hello. It's a little bit chilly in the library tonight. <laughs> oh. Oh, Jackson, what are you doing? Oh, well, I'm rubbing my paws together and I'm jumping up and down. I'm trying to get warm. Oh, yes, it is a bit chilly tonight. <laughs> oh, hello, Blake. Hi, guys. Hello. Ooh, what are you two doing? We're jumping up and down to keep warm. Oh, and have you warmed up yet? A little bit, yes, but it's still quite cool. Well, that's because it's cold outside, my furry friends, mm. but not as cold as the South Pole. <gasps> the South Pole? Mm, it's a cold, cold place. I went there once on an expedition. Oh. It's icy and snowy, and lots of penguins live near there. Oh. Penguins? Mm, they're birds, Jelly. Oh, but do they fly high in the sky? No, well, not in the sky, anyway. But they're very good swimmers. So good, they look like they're flying through the water. <laughs> Blake, mm -hmm. how do the penguins keep warm if they live in such a cold and snowy place? Do they wear hats and scarves like me? <laughs> no, they don't have hats and scarves to keep warm. Oh. Their feathers do that. Oh. Oh. Penguins have layers of warm, fluffy feathers mm. underneath a top layer of waterproof, waxy feathers. Oh. A bit like my coat. See? Look, you're I have a warm, soft fleece on the inside to yeah. keep me warm. Mm. And on the outside, it's waterproof and waxy to keep me dry. Oh. <laughs> and do you know what penguins like to do when it's really cold? No. What? Do you? No. <laughs> they like to huddle together Whoa. for a nice, Whoa. cozy cuddle. Oh, yes. Mm. Oh, that is quite cozy. Yeah, mm. I would like to be a penguin. <laughs> I would like to see one. Can we see one, Blake? Yeah. Mm, I'm afraid we need to take an aeroplane to the South Pole for that. Aww. But we do have magic. Wow. Oh, yes, your magic's really hard. <laughs> it's a toy penguin. <laughs> mm, and look. What? <laughs> Fantastic idea! In you go, little penguin. We need your help to make the story machine work. Ready? Yes. yes. Imagine. Imagine. Imagine a story. Here it is coming. Oh, it's a play book. And it's called the Penguin Show. When we went to the zoo today, the penguins put on a swimming display. Come and see our jolly japes beneath the surface of the waves, they seem to say. Be quick, be quick, we're about to start. So we pressed our noses against the glass. 
and we watched as they dipped and we watched as they dived we watched as they twisted and twirled and we watched as they rolled they were beaky and sleeky with little webbed feety that paddled and flippers that flapped as they swam on their fronts and their backs. And when they walked, they looked ever so cute. Like small beaky people in black and white suits. They toddled and waddled, and so did we. We wanted to be just like penguins, you see. With flippery arms, and flat, flappy feet, waddling up for a nice fishy treat. stayed for a while just to watch them eat dinner. Here we go. Then we said our goodbyes to those excellent swimmers. Oh, I liked that story. The penguins really did look like they were flying through the water. Yes, yes. and it looked really funny when they went waddling up for their fish. Oh, yes. <laughs> waddle, waddle, waddle. Yeah, but Blake, there wasn't any snow in the story. Ah, well that's because those penguins live in the zoo. But there are lots of penguins that live near the South Pole. Let's see if we can find the South Pole on this globe. Uh, yeah, what is a globe? Ah, it's a small model of the world. You see all these cream parts? Oh yes, there are lots well, of cream parts. Aren't there? They're the sea, and all these colourful bits are all the different countries. Mm. Oh, well, where do we live? Ah, right here. It looks a bit small on this globe. Oh, yeah. And the South Pole is all the way down here. Right at the Ooh, it makes me cold just to look at it. Mm. You know, it's one of the coldest places in the world. It's so cold that no grass or no flowers grow there. Uh, but I love flowers. Ah, well, luckily we're not at the South Pole, Jelly. Oh, no. And I never go far without my flowers. Huh. Now then. Oh, it's his magic twirly hat. <laughs> magic. Mm. They are indeed. Mm. Now then, mm. how about a blue flower for you, blue for you. <laughs> and a pink mm. for you, Mr. Ooh, J. Thank you. Um, a yellow for me. Yes. And um, what shall we do with this last red flower? Oh. Let's, Let's make, make a, a story. story. Come on. <laughs> Will you help us to imagine a story about flowers? Bye-bye, pretty flower. Ready? Yes. Imagine, imagine, imagine a story. Oh, it's a super baby story. Oh, and it's called Night Night. Across the sky Whatever the weather She's happy to fly She's brave and she's true And she's so brave Super baby Super baby Super baby is in a garden The garden is very frosty and white Very white 
And what's that noise? It sounds like flapping and fluttering. It's one, two, three little flower fairies flapping their wings. Hello, fairies. But the flower fairies are sad because their cozy flower beds are lost under the chilly white frost. Don't worry, flower fairies. Super Baby will help you. Won't you, Super Baby? holds her blanket over the ground and a yellow daffodil appears. Little yellow fairy, here's your daffodilly bed. Snuggle down and rest your head. Super Baby holds her blanket over the ground again and a bluebell appears. Little blue fairy, here's your bluebell bed. Snuggle down and rest your head. She likes her bed. Super Baby holds her blanket over the ground again and a red tulip appears. Little Red Fairy, here's your tulip bed. Snuggle down and rest your head. Night, night. The flower fairies are very happy. They jump out of their petally beds so they can give Super Baby a huge hug. Which is nice, because a hug is just the thing that Super Baby likes. Hugs are squeezy. Hugs are nice. They're just what Super Baby likes. Hooray for Super Baby! She's triumphed again. That was a great story. Super Baby helped the flower fairies find their flowery beds. Yes. Mm. <laughs> uh, uh, look at all these fluffy balls, Jackson. Yes. yes, you know, the children in the library today were using them to make all these pictures. Oh, uh, yes, so they were. Mm. Mm. Shall we make a picture, Jackson? Um, well, I've got a better yes. idea, Jelly. Let's play snowballs. <laughs> oh, oh, no, oh, no, no. Stop it, Jackson. You shouldn't throw snowballs at people. Oh. Throw them over there. Oh, okay. I'm going to finish a snowman <laughs> picture. Whoa, Jack. Watch where you throw <laughs> these things. <laughs> what are they? They're snowballs. <laughs> no, no, they are not snowballs. Yes, they, are. <laughs> no, they are fluffy bits of cotton wool. And, and the children use them to make these the snowman picture. Look. Oh, that's a very soft and snowy picture, Jelly. <laughs> <laughs> Look how far I can throw. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow, Jack. <laughs> in fact, I think it went in the story machine. <laughs> oh, good! A snowy story. You'll help us, won't you? Imagine, imagine, imagine a story. Mm. I wonder what it'll be. Mm. It's a blue cow story. And it's called Blue Cow and the Snowman. In a field not far away is a herd of cows grazing quietly. One of the cows is most unusual. Blue Cow wonders, wonders about the big world beyond her field. One day, Blue Cow was feeling the warmth of the sun on her face. I wonder what it would be like to go to a place where it's frosty and snowy. She's off again, said the other cows. So Blue Cow caught the bus that stops beside her field. I'd like a ticket to a frosty place, please. There you go, madam. Hold very tight. And they set off for Snowland. Ooh. 
and then they arrived. Blue Cow was at the bottom of a steep mountain. The sun was beating down from the sky, making Blue Cow very hot. There was no snow anywhere. Well, if this is snow land, then I'm very disappointed. Suddenly, something rolled down the hill and crashed into Blue Cow. Oh, hello. I'm Blue Cow. Are you okay? Oh, I think so. I'm Selwyn the Snowman, and I've just slipped on some frosty snow and rolled all the way down this mountain. Moo, what's at the top? asked Blue Cow. Snowland, of course. I need to get back quick before I melt in this hot sun. Well, let's go up to Snowland together, said Blue Cow. And off they went. The sun was still hot, and as they walked, Selwyn began to melt. He got smaller and smaller, and eventually his carrot nose fell off. Oh, moo dear, said Blue Cow, picking up Selwyn's nose. Why don't you climb on my back? Oh, thank you, said Selwyn. I'll we get there soon. As they climbed the mountain, it started to get colder, and soon there was soft, crunchy snow on the ground under Blue Cow's hooves. At last, they reached the top of the mountain. I'm home, cried Selwyn. Phew, we're glad you're back, said a snowman to Selwyn. Quick, quick, he needs help, said another. The snowman started piling handfuls of snow onto Selwyn. Blue Cow helped too. He got bigger and bigger until eventually he was back to his normal size. Blue Cow stuck Selwyn's carrot nose back on. There you go. We must have a snowball fight to celebrate, cried the snowmen. So Blue Cow had a big snowball fight with Selwyn and all the rest of the snowmen. <laughs> Never guess where I've been. Where have you been? I've been to Snowland and had a snowball fight. Everyone knows that cows can't throw snowballs, but we know they can, don't we? I like that story. Blue Cow helped Selwyn the snowman. You know, I'd like to be a snowman. Well, look outside, Jackson. It's snowing. Oh, it's beautiful. Hmm. Can we go and play outside, yes. Blake? Oh, I'm sorry, guys. We don't have time because, look, yes. it's getting light. The sun is rising. We better get our skates on. Skates on? Hmm. The children will be here soon. Dawn is upon us. The morning is nigh. We've made our stories and we bid you goodbye. Thanks for helping us. Goodbye. See you next time, Storymakers. And remember, imagine.